Hi there, I'm the Ronin Marinette, and this is a breakdown of my process for keyframe animation for a lip sync um, on my recent assignment for Universal. So, opening up Character Animator, you'll find in the main start panel this little guy here, this little blank puppet. You want to open up him, and that'll either open up in Illustrator or uh, Photoshop. And character animator, the way the, the structure of the hierarchy is, every character starts with a plus at the start of their name, and then the hierarchy goes down in groups. So we don't want to mess with the hierarchy. All we want to do, the changes we want to make are to the the visms, which is the little faces, so the, the D's, the U's, the E's, and the L's. All of these need to be changed, but only a slight change to the artwork. We want to put the text that represents them onto the actual artwork and then collapse that layer but ensuring that the hierarchy name is still exactly the same and everything is still in the same order. Once you've changed all of those you want to save him. Um, save him leaving the plus at the start maybe call him the character name with sync. The plus is important because without the plus the uh, the file won't be recognized as a puppet within Character Animator. Now open up our newly saved puppet in Character Animator. We can see now if we've got a microphone and we turn on the mic, when we talk, the phonemes or the visms will appear during the time that we're speaking live. And we can actually record that and export it out as a, as a PNG which then we can later drop into Premiere and add a text to. You could also um, record your audio on any other device and just bring it in. So once in Premiere, we can add a little text. As you can see, the yawn, uh-oh, I'm late, is uh, not there originally. So we add that to give us a cue for when we're in 3ds Max for when the piece of dialogue starts and we know exactly which piece of dialogue it is with all of the words clearly listed. Also this will make a little bit more sense later as we'll use it as our in and out marker when working from 3ds Max back into Premiere and back out again. Once we've uh, exported out our text prompt on top of our character puppet we can put it onto a plane into 3ds max and then that will animate across the timeline okay so selecting the plane we can go to our material editor uh, select our file where the target or the PNG is setting um, select the first one and ensure we set sequence and click open now we've got the material with the phonemes or um, visims uh, displayed across the whole timeline. So we can animate to it using it as our prompt. In this example we can see the C, D and G being selected and the keys between Panda Push being highlighted on the bottom there, those three keys, the center one being the highest and the two out on the left and right. When animating to the 2D reference, um, it's probably best to use frame for frame movements rather than scrolling through the timeline. And as you see the, the phonem appear, that's probably where you want the peak or the highest percentage of your morph target to increase at. And then over three or four frames I found is best to reduce that percentage back down to zero so it blends with other phonemes but also isn't too quick or rushed. While working in 3ds Max, it's probably best to have two views. One would be the camera view, which will be fixed on the character's lips, so we're ready to render, and we've always got a static position, so we can keep checking from the same point of reference each time. Okay, now we've laid most of our visms, and we've got most of it animated to the reference, we can render it out and see if it looks any good up against the audio in Premiere. So we'll select the frames, just like where the text starts and where the text ends. We want to still be able to see the text for each piece of dialogue because that will be our cues to match it up in uh, Premiere.
we can scale down our little lip sync buddy and uh, just place him over to the right here out of the way. It may take a couple of goes back and forth between uh, 3DS Max and Premiere before you get your sync right, but it's worth doing several iterations just to be sure that you're actually uh, getting the best out of it. Panda Bush! Panda Bush! Panda Bush! Panda Bush! Panda Bush! Thank you very much for watching and uh, let me know in the comments if this has helped anyone. Hey, hey, I'm not finished yet. R bring, me, bring me back my desk. Yep, yep, yippee.